You're the new guy, I take it? Yep, that's me. First time working in a restaurant, I take it? Yeah, well, first time working a job ever, actually. Yeah, my dad's been getting on my ass about getting one. You're not man enough to get a job. When are you gonna give up that theater shit and start playing football like I did? Oh, what? You're gonna cry now? Well, it doesn't get too busy this time of year, so... I'll have plenty of time to show you the ropes. I'll tell you what. Why don't you go back to the closet and grab some deli cups? Oh, and introduce yourself to the chef on the way over. Okay, sounds great. Hey, I'm the new guy. Jeez, talk about a welcoming atmosphere. All right, I found them. Where should I? Congratulations. You're in charge now. <laughs> Wait, what? I don't even know anything. I already forgot where I found the damn deli cups. Ah, look at you. First day on the job, and you're already crawling up that corporate ladder. Your predecessor was so weak and without ambition. So what does that make you? Uh, I'm sorry? Ah, so you're even weaker. Ten percent. Mmm, five. Five percent. That's what I'm going to be tipping you thus far. And you know why? Look at your posture. I can tell a lot about someone about their posture. So, before we do any more talking, straighten up. I'm sorry, it's just... Straighten up. I'm sorry. Ah, straighter. I'm sorry, it's just that it's my first day and I don't really know what's going on. I think the deli cups are next to the ketchup on the shelf, but I don't really know. So what's the first thing you order when you get to a restaurant? Um, the drinks? Water! And make it fast! Who's my little gummy wummy tubby lovey bear? Is it me? Yes it is, yes it is. How are we doing today, guys? I'm doing very well. <clears throat> I'm doing well. It's our anniversary. That's wonderful. How long? Two years. It's three years. Did you forget our anniversary? Great, here we go again. What do you mean, here we go again? Can we not? Can I? No, I think we can. How could you forget our anniversary? I don't know. How could you forget my mother's birthday? You know, she still cries about it sometimes. Can I get you guys started with some drinks? I'll have a root beer. I'll have a beer. Oh, great. You're gonna get drunk, just like at my sister's baby shower? Oh great, why don't you go tell your boyfriend about it, since you like talking to him so much? For the last time, he is my therapist. Can I get you something to drink? Why don't you tell him about the time you tried to microchip me in my sleep? Hello? It got infected. Can I get you something to drink? I'm sorry. Uh, how long were you standing there? Just a couple of seconds. Um, can I get you something to drink? Just a couple of seconds. That's that's longer than anyone's ever spent time with me in my whole life. Wow. Okay. Um. Oh, can I get you something to drink? You know, I just am so thankful for you giving me time. I mean, I know you're paid to be here, but can I get you something to drink? Okay. Um. I'm sorry, how, how long have you been standing there? Just a couple of seconds. Can I please get you something to drink? A couple of seconds? That's longer than any. Can I get ever. you something to drink? Okay, um, do you, uh, Dr. Pepper? Do you, uh, Great, yes. Fire him! Fire her! Fire, fire, fire! So what if she's pregnant? What's this retaliation lawsuit? Oh, you gotta see this kid, he sucks. Here's your Dr. Pepper. Root 
beer. I hate root beer. I'm so sorry. I had all the drinks together. I just got them mixed up. You knew I hated it. You did that on purpose. What? No, I'm sorry. I just mixed You're the drinks together. Just like together. those kids who used to pour root beer all over me and the what? bees would attack me and I didn't you know I'm, I'm allergic. Look, I didn't do it to you on purpose, okay? You goddamn creep. <laughs> How am I supposed to know that you didn't like root beer? What am I, the goddamn root beer oracle? I, I don't know if people like drinks or don't like drinks. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I <laughs> suck. I'm sorry. Look, ma'am, you don't have to be sorry. <laughs> Mother was right. I only think about myself. That's <laughs> why dad left. I'm, I'm sure that's not why your dad left, dude. There, there has to be other it is. reasons. It's written right here. It's, yeah. He wrote it in his journal. I hate you. That's the reason why I left your mom. Okay, well, yeah. you know what? I'm sure that wasn't the only reason that he left. Like, there could have been other reasons. The human mind works in mysterious ways. No, it's he. Look it. Look what else he said. Yes, this is a sincere reason. Do you just keep this on you? Yes. What I can't do is get you another drink. Would that make you feel better? No. It's too late. One star review. Well, I'm going to get you another one anyways. <laughs> Here's your Dr. Pepper, sir. Oh, yeah. Is it? You only ever care about yourself. What about what I want? What about what I need? Oh, here we go again about your needs. I have your- <sighs> Oh, I need him! He's an emotional support animal! He helps with my anxiety! Well, if you need him so bad, then why'd you forget to feed him? The internet said that they were independent. I thought he could feed himself. Well, the internet clearly didn't tell you how to bury him because I had to do that. You know how much I miss Whiskers. Why would you say that? Sorry about the hold up. I have your... <sighs> See, he cares about me. He fulfills my needs. A soda? That's all it takes? You should take some notes. This is what a real man looks like. Yeah? Think you're a man? What? No. I mean, like, yeah, I have a penis, but like, no. You got the hots from my girlfriend, is that it? No, like, I Wait, never did- You don't? You don't think I'm beautiful? I mean, like, sure, you're pretty, but like, I'm not in the headspace for a relationship right now. You're hurting my girlfriend's feelings? Yeah, he did. Yeah? Are you upsetting my girlfriend? What, you don't care about her needs? I thought you were the one that didn't care about her needs. Get your hands off him. Sure thing, babe. Jesus Christ, there you are, Romeo! I'm hungry, I don't have all day! What can I get for you? New York Strip Blue. You know what that is? No. Raw. Do you think I became a successful person waiting for chicken not to be pink? What about the salmonella? Salmonella, salmonella. Do you believe in salmonella? How old are you, five? Anyway, blue steak, potatoes, Half mashed, half roasted, grilled asparagus, equal lengths, of course. Okay, can you do that? I need a blue steak with potatoes half mashed, half roasted, with equally... You know what, here, just read the damn ticket. Please just take your time with it. I just need a second to relax. You stupid! Again! Sir, could, could you please stop? That? <laughs> Sir! <laughs> Sir! Would you like something to eat? Uh, I'll have the soup of the day. Okay. You bring me a bowl of root beer, I'm gonna be so upset. I'm gonna write a terrible review. I'm not going to bring you a bowl of root beer. Don't let this happen again! <clears throat> I'm sorry, sir. I'll have the kitchen redo it. I'm sorry to bother you. There seems to be a bug or something. How did that? In my soup. How did that even happen? Hey! I didn't like it. Make it again! 
too hot. It's, it's too, too cold. cold. It's too lukewarm. Who's take? See it for just a few seconds. Don't want to get salmonella though. <laughs> what am I talking about? Salmonella is a real. Looks like a slow day. His dad got salmonella, and that's why he left. Hello. It's a cruel, cruel disease. What are you doing down there? Oh, um, sorry. I was uh, just on my lunch break. Lunch at nine o'clock at night, huh? Yeah. Well, sorry. It's been a long day. All right, well, uh, are you still open? The, the sign said you're still open. You're not closed, are you? Uh, that's my fault. Um, we, I meant to flip it, but, you know, I just got finished cleaning all the spit and stuff. Um, we could get you, though, if you're just taking takeout. Yeah, that'd be perfect. Okay. Oh. That'd be perfect. Uh, I'll just, uh, I'll, I'll, have a, I'll, I'll have a chicken sandwich, please, with a side of... Uh, well, I prefer a side of french fries, but my doctor says I need to cut down my sodium. And do you have asparagus? Um, yeah. Do you want that asparagus equal length? Uh, I'm sorry? Uh, sorry. Will that be all? Uh, yeah, that'll be all. Thanks. You look really stressed. Are you alright? I don't know. It was my first day, and the lady who was managing me just ran out on me, told me that I was running the place from now on. There was this businessman had me made the same plate over and over and over again. There was this couple fighting about rock music or something. They weren't happy with each other. I was stressful. Then there was this one really sad guy. He was complaining about his dad who left him. And he had rats in his soup, spit his drink all over the place. So It was just a hectic day in general. I mean, I don't know. I think this place is cursed or a nightmare or a prank show or something. I just want to run away from here. Hide under a bridge, live there forever, never see society again. Just anything to get away from this damn job. It sounds like quite the day. Yeah, I guess it was. Okay, sir. Bag it up for you. Here you go. That'll be eleven ninety-five. My order. The the way you packed it, it's perfect. My God, what a beauty. The way you folded the top so it's perfectly parallel to the bottom of the bag. And the staples at the industry standard of three inches apart. It's perfect. It's clean. It's pure. There's no wrinkles or rips, no tears or holes. Nothing like that. You packed this with the grace of an angel. With the speed of a cheetah. What can I say? I, I guess I'm a natural. You sure are. Keep the change. Thank you, sir.